Good evening. This is the Elliott Wave update for the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ 100 being recorded on Monday, February the 19th, 2024. I'm just going to make this a quick update because there's no real strong changes yet. Uh, that's from yesterday's Globex session and also now the beginning of today's Globex session. So I want to actually just present a an alternate to how both got left after the podcasts on Saturday. So if we are going to continue to look at here in the S&P on the hourly chart, that from, um, last Tuesday's lows produced wave four, <clears throat> and that we are again beginning to rally higher. The market actually needs to hold uh, pretty much above 49.78. It could travel down a little bit further, but I would have to really kind of think that we're not going to get below uh, actually 5,008. And the reason is because this has to be counted as uh, one up, or this is one, two, and this is a third, and this is a small four, which is already just you know getting close to overlapping. So the other side of the picture is, is that the wave four is not complete. In which case, this comes down as an A. This is a double ABC or just an ABC up for a B wave. Even though in the cash market, the internals still kind of show it, but it's it's almost like it's going to turn into a flat on in the in the SPX. But in the futures market, it could just be, you know, five, three, and then we're going to do five down for a five, three, five. It's still pretty much going to end up being close to being a flat since Friday's high was 5,059 against 5,066 being the high for this third wave. So if we're looking for that, the low thus far, 4,936. We would not be looking for much more than that in terms of this is an A, B, and we're going to come down in a C wave. We'd be looking for 49.25, uh, excuse me, 49.28. Now, the other side of the coin, again, as we presented for the NASDAQ more than we did here in the S&P, that if the market really starts to fall apart from here, then we're going to have to consider that wave five is done and that this all the cha it, it changes from being in, in a triangle to being complete and if that's the case then the market really is just going to start to fall apart and that would be the clue would be that we begin to drop and we go below 4936 and we don't stop so in other words then it turns into a one two and we're dropping in the third and albeit the beginning stages of a much larger move. But still, we have to follow the characteristics personalities that would fit with that third wave, if indeed it is. Now, what's going to sound, or uh, it, it, it's not sound, but it could look like a C wave and a third wave are really attached because they both have that sudden downside or sudden upside move or personality or characteristic to them. So, what would happen, indeed, uh, the difference between a C and a 3 is that we would not be looking for a C wave to go much further than 49.28 in this particular context. Whereas if we're coming down in a 1, 2, and it's a 3rd, we would looking, we'd be looking for beyond this level as it's a start of. And so we're going to, it's really going to see a change in the market. Now, that is not seeing we're not seeing any clues or hints that that's going to be the case. Right now, the Dow is again now, the Dow futures down 34. The Russell is down 1290. These are all in the futures market. S&P starting to give up a little bit here. So let's. I'm going to leave it as such that it is the way four is still in progress and we're going to likely drop back down to 49.28 and begin to rally again. So... That's how I'm going to leave it.
if we hold above the the hourly 200, which right now is at uh, 5,010, and we pick up the rally again, then again, it's likely just a, a smaller, smaller four inside of a building, you know, first wave up of for five in case also could be, also could be wave one and now we're doing wave two and it's going to develop into its own diagonal triangle outside of the diagonal triangle that's that's coming in in that minor wave five. So a couple of things kind of working their way through, but now we got to leave it up to the market. So that's how I'm going to leave with the S&P right now that we, we, we have potential where we could drop a little bit further, hold, hold above 49 or get down towards 49.28, put in a slight new low below what we saw last week, put the four there, and then we start to build the rally again. And being that it would just be small changes to the fibs for minute wave five, uh, because you know, four would just shift down eight points. So it's going to just move these down just a little bit. All right. So, or we kind of hold here and we get, again turn and start to build on the rally. That would suggest that we have resistance at 5,059 to 5,066, 5,079, and then we're heading up. And then we have all of these other additional levels that would come into play. Over in the NASDAQ, it is actually what is holding up the, the markets right now, or at least holding up the S&P. And what we have going on in the NASDAQ at the moment is kind of the same type of a picture. Now, again, if indeed we have, this is A of four, B of four, and we're going to come down in a C wave, well, where C would equal A, is at 17,594. Now, the current low for wave four, which being marked wave four, is 17,536. If this is going to come down, I would be expecting it, the C wave, to either come down and equal or just drift a little bit below 17,000. So 1.618 is 17,403. So that has to remain a possibility. Now, Right now, they are not and have not started yesterday's global accession and stayed higher. Today's global accession starting up and kind of holding, although faltering a little bit to both sides. So you can see it has just basically been sideways here since yesterday. So the Globex is not doing us any favors either yesterday's or today's kind of just holding in a very tight pattern now this even seems like an a and abc we're going to get another little c wave down and so i'd be looking for at least something below 17,712 before we would start to rally again so there's we're going to have our support 17,594 now that's just based on the fact that this is turning into an abc not necessarily that this larger that the the fourth wave that we marked the minute fourth wave is complete this is for the internal abc where we're just going to come down inside here so in other words this this could work out to be a completed i can't call it five but i can definitely call it a double an abc double abc wxy um within here um, and then we're just doing the retracement off of that, and that re, uh, measures down to 17,594, and that would be if this is going to be A, B, and we're going to get a C wave down, or as low as here. Now, if it's the fourth wave, if it's going to be wave C of a four, well, then we can take a look at some additionals. We're going to come down to here. Oops, come on. Come on. Thank you. I'm going to go up to there. And again, we have the 100% at 17,446. It wasn't that far from 403, which would put this in a 1.618. So we got a little cluster there. Our uh, previous, we have 618, but that's 
not going to do us much favor when we're looking for the fourth wave over here. So that actually doesn't come into play. These two come into play along with these two. So that's kind of our deal right now. If they start to come out, which they are now beginning to hit a little bit harder, uh, we could see it drop down and then the rally pick up again. So one way or the other, it just either we're a smaller inside uh, correction or we're just continuing the wave four. And that should also find support down in here. That's where I'm going to leave it for right now. Um, again, not getting a lot of hints over and above uh, what we presented on Saturday. And in fact, uh, what Sasha presented here in the NASDAQ on Saturday. And if you haven't checked it out, I would I would say that go ahead and give it a look. Um, and this is where I'm going to leave it for right now. And let me just take a quick peek on if we get, we do have some numbers coming out on tomorrow we have u.s leading economic indicators which again as i have been talking about that is what continues to decay and what we're expecting the median forecast for tomorrow is that it's going to also drop three tenths of a percent it'll be a negative and that would be for january which would just show that the leading economic indicators continue to decay continue to decline against the market that is intent on trying to continue to rally so it puts a lot of things in jeopardy as far as I'm concerned in terms of how high can we go and how high can artificial intelligence or how high can NVIDIA or how high can super microcomputer, you know, S, S, what is it, SCMI, how, how high could that market take it, which by the way, on Friday dropped 200 points. So... A lot of stuff going on. We shall see. In the meantime, the next update will be on Tuesday, February the 20th.